So I'm still in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, about two miles north of where I was before. And as you can see, there's an old covered bridge behind me. So I do a tour of that, both from the outside and the inside. So I'll get much closer than that, but that's it with the water from a distance. So it's pretty cool. So here's another bridge in the park before we go to the covered bridge. If we can go underneath it. So we'll go over the bridge now. So here's going over to that bridge. The covered bridge is to the left. So here's on top of the bridge, just the creek that we're going over. So here's the Cedarburg covered bridge. Kind of shooting into the sun, I'll get a much better view from the other side or once I'm in the shade. Yeah, it's not going to work from this side. Oh, it can actually go underneath, though. So that's underneath a covered bridge. So the Cedarburg covered bridge is in the background. And I'm going to turn around and show you that in a second here. So this is the best way I could get it with the sun. So you can see it all, so I'll go parallel to it. Now we can get both angles, then we'll go through the inside. See a little bit of the water going underneath. At 10 millimeters, it's a really long bridge, actually. Big jump here, so it'll jump a little bit. Some of the history behind it. I um, used to work at Sandy at the, at the Built in 1876. There's a sign for it. So walking through, hopefully it comes out. Actually, it looks really good. Bring it up just to here. Kind of a neat effect with the light coming through. Kind of gives leading lines. It's all going through the other way. It's probably some light flare coming through, but once we're covered, oh, that was a trip. It's a really long bridge. Bring it a little bit more. Trying to keep the keyhole. And that's through the other side. One more time, figure out which one works the best.
Oh, that was a walkthrough. That one actually worked better than the previous. It's a side profile shot. Fucking parallel to it. On the wide angle, so it has a little bit of a bow to it, but... It's a little bit different angle. I gotta switch and do a few more photos now and I'll insert them into the video where appropriate. So there's the covered bridge overlooking the creek. And then the other bridge that I went over is off in the distance right there. Oh, walking through covered bridge. It's kind of neat with the slits at the top and with the sun reflecting at the bottom right, it gives it kind of a uh, star kind of lighting mood. I love these old covered bridges, they're kind of cool. There's not many left. Kind of dark, but here's the bridge from under, from the side of it, I should say. We can go underneath and see. And there's the creek. There's the road, the new road, where the old that replaced the covered bridge. Now we're under the covered bridge and then out into the park. Again, Cedarburg, Wisconsin, Covered Bridge Road, the old Covered Bridge. This is a diner I just passed. I'm probably gonna stop in there and see what they have. It's called Wings. So it looks pretty interesting, so I might go inside and take a look and see what they have. But I thought it was a really cool, it's like an octagon shape and I don't know if that's because they have octagon barns out here in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, or if it's just the, just the size that they decide to make the building. All right, I decided to try a Wayne burger here. See what it looks like. Take a look here. Look at it, fancy. You can actually see it because it's in a clear container. So it's just a quarter pounder. Um, I'll let you know how it tastes in a minute. Wow, it actually has a really nice bun. It's like toasted and um, looks really good. So hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, so the burger is super juicy. It's like actually like dripping grease and stuff. It's really, not a ton, but you know, it's not a dried out burger. It's really good with the grilled onions. Um, I'd definitely get it again. You can kind of see inside what everything is. I just lost a pickle there, but it's a really good uh, burger. So I definitely come back. That's one thing that I didn't have enough time to get into, but at least we can see it, is the old uh, Cedarburg. The old Cedarburg train depot. I'll have to come back and do more on this. But there's a whole pioneer village. Oh, I just went through some spider webs. So they actually moved the depot and put some tracks in. They have an old signal there. That's just a quick video. They're redoing it right now, so. But, uh. So, it's an old engine, or I'm sorry, old caboose. Oh, that's the old depot that was moved here from Cedarburg. And it's in this pioneer village. They laid some tracks in front to make it look authentic, but. So just something to add to the video for a little, something a little bit different. Oh, 
Oh, here's a quick overview. I missed the time frame to come in, so just a good view from outside. A lot of buildings in here. Fortunately, um, you can't really see from in there or from out here. Hopefully it'll pick up on the video, but 